Today's YouTube video moment. We are back in the garage working on assembling the BMW engine. And unfortunately, it's a really nice day out, and I'd rather be out on the water. Uh, but uh, due to some sad and unfortunate circumstances, um, can't get the boat out at the moment. There's a, a barge that's been doing some dredging there. Uh, the guy that owns the company passed away suddenly, and it is blocking our boat at the moment. So, other uh, other things to do on the list was to uh, do some work on this. So, we've put quite a few items on, uh, probably the biggest of which is the intake manifold here for the electronic fuel injection. We got a coolant bypass pipe down here. The, uh, the original manifolds have a water jacket built in. This one does not, so we have to come up with a way to bypass that uh, feature that we took out. Along with that, we have the 325IS throttle body here, which, as you can see, it has uh, something like a a 62 millimeter diameter or something much much larger than the original uh, 318i throttle body so that you can get sufficient airflow uh, for the larger engine here uh, again you can see the coolant bypass pipe uh, down on the bottom the oil pan is now in place on the left hand side here we have our electronic ignition timing gear as well as the crankshaft pulley um, engine mount obviously one on the other side and then uh, this little guy up here this is one of the one of the first things that I probably made up for this even before I decided that uh, this was going to be the engine that got rebuilt um, but this is the uh, mechanical fuel pump block off plate so when I got the car uh, it still had the mechanical fuel pump on it, but it wasn't connected to anything. So it was just, uh, you know, the ends had been plugged, but it was just pumping air. And uh, the system had been converted to a low-pressure electronic fuel pump. Um, this plate allows us to get rid of that mechanical fuel pump. And in our case, we're also going to get rid of that original electronic fuel pump and go with a, a high-pressure unit that fits inside the fuel tank. Um, and that's again will be necessary for the electronic fuel injection. They you know, require substantially more pressure than the you know two to five psi of a, a carbureted system. But I think that's that's about it. While we're in here, uh, I know I posted a couple days ago about. Uh, Breaking a wheel on the TT. If you look right here, there's a quite a big crack. Actually, it's not a hairline crack anymore. Uh, enough so that I had a reoccurring flat tire and pulled the wheel off to find out why. And fortunately, there was a crack in the rim. I don't know what the cause of it was, but I ordered a new one on eBay or a new used one, and that should be in pretty soon, I hope. That's all for now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.